Hi everyone, I'm going to show you today how to configure Puff Monitor Payover with two ISPs and two virtual routers that I'm using. So here is my topology where I have my Palo Alto, two links to go to different um, ISPs and you have ISP1 and ISP2. So we're going to go to the firewall. At the moment I have only one uh, ISP configured virtual router so we're going to configure um, the second ISP quickly so virtual router we call it ISP2 I'm gonna go to interface I'm going to configure the second interface going to the second ISP on the second virtual router They both use Antra Zone. I'm going to configure my management profile, use pink only for now. Let's put a comment. Too. Once we're ready with, with the interface, we need to um, add it to the policy and add not to the second one. My source uh, zone will be trust. Destination zone will be untrust. Destination and inter interface will be one slash three. Interface will be you can choose like if you want to. Here we have uh, our natural already. The next bit that we're going to do, uh, we're going to commit this first. And we need to do uh, our static root in the virtual router. So we're going to call it default. Destination will be 0, 0, 0. And the next hop will be our gateway. And leave the rest as it is. Uh, there's one more thing we need to do here. So for us to have access from the second um, ISP to our internal network, in case if we it's fail over, we need to add static root to this. Because at the moment it's configured on virtual router one. ISP1 for internal destination 172 1620 0 24 next virtual router will be ISP1 this is all we need to configure because once we fail over to this uh, ISP this one need to know how to go to your internal network otherwise there won't be a route to it and we need to go to isp1 static route you can see we already have the default route going to internet we need to have our backup default route Here you have to choose next virtual router. That means is to go to ISP2 and choose this. We should do metric higher than 10. So in this case, we can adjust 11. And this is how it's going to look like. So if this one fail, this one will take over. 
and uh, we'll send the traffic to next virtual router, which is ISP2. Okay, once we are ready with this, uh, we're going to have our virtual router, uh, two ISPs working, and we need to configure our path monitor. So if you come to the default path monitor, you can call it whatever you like. Let's say Google. Source IP is going to be our ISP1 public interface. In this case, our this IP address public IP. Destination, we can choose Google. You can do whatever you like. And you can leave this as default. Uh, if you have more than two uh, destinations that you want to ping before failover, you can choose here if you want to have any, which means if you have two, let's say, doesn't matter which one, it, uh, if it miss one of them, it's going to fail over. If you want both of them to fail, then you need to choose all. Preemptive hold time, you can leave it by default two minutes. That's the time that is going to take uh, before the once once the firewall is able to ping Google. It's going to take two minutes to check if the connection is stable. If for any reason is, is lose some pings, it's going to start the time to count again uh, two minutes from beginning. So this is all you need to do. We can commit. Okay, uh, our commit has been successful. Uh, okay, let's go to our uh, Windows 10 machine and do our test. So we can uh, we can pick in a moment which we will use our ISP one. So we can check our uh, routing table. We can see at the moment this is what it's using. This is up. If you if you come to the routing table here, you can see both of them. But you can see this one is the active. But this one is that is not. So forwarding table is where you can see. Uh, and also you can see the path monitoring. You can see it's up and it's working. So if you check the second routing table on ISP2, you can see we have routes to the internal and the next destination. You can see the forwarding table is up as well. It's working, but it's not been preferred. So uh, for us to test, we are going to shut down this connection here on the switch and we can we can check the failover we can see we've been with the pink okay so we're back if we go to the firewall and if we check the routine table can see it's up and let's have a look here you can see now our routing table is using default route to ISP2 so we can still see see even uh, is removing the default route for ISP1 and 
the default root ysp2 is being used at the moment uh, you can check the static root for path monitoring it says it's down so if we turn this one again up it should take two minutes now before this one is uh, it's, it's bring back the the routing the routing table and the isp1 become the uh, your primary as well again so let's wait a little bit it needs to, to detect that that uh, inter interface is up and we start counting You can see it's now start counting and it's going to check this i'm going to stop recording the video so you guys don't have to wait uh two two minutes with me but once this one is up uh, i'll continue with uh, recording the video okay we have two seconds left uh, the check is also oh, up now if you go to the forwarding table if we refresh we can see again isp1 uh, it's been uh, our primary ISP that uses traffic. So this way you can configure uh, path monitoring and with uh, dual ISP. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, next video I'll do will be uh, HF over. Thank you.